Good evening, I'm Megan Mangello. It's been a week since a 10 year old boy was shot during a drive by in Avondale. Today, people took to the streets in the same neighborhood. They held a march against the ongoing gun violence in the city of Cincinnati. Local 12's Brad Underwood joins us live in Avondale tonight after the march. Brad. Well, hi, Megan. Uh, yes, the march uh, ended here at this park off of Forest Avenue, the park just across the street from that home uh, where the little boy was shot uh, as he was outside playing with uh, his sister tonight. Community faith leaders as well as parents marched through Avondale urging the violence to cease, but also looking for people to step up when it comes to witnessing crimes here in Cincinnati and reporting what they are seeing. Now, the mothers who have lost children to gun violence helped put this march together. From Redding and Forest down Rockdale and over to the park, the group chanted and prayed through this neighborhood. At the park, more prayer for justice to take back the streets, to take back the neighborhoods from criminals, but also urging people to start speaking up when they do see a crime. And for those who do come forward, there is protection if you need it. Cincinnati citizens respect our witnesses or crow. That program protects those who come forward in whatever way they need. When people come forward, you know, and they're just kind of left in that process until court happens, then, you know, they, they, they can be intimidated, retaliation can happen, all that kind of thing. So we make sure that our services are wrapped around them so that we stand with these people before, during, and after a trial. Uh, the little boy who was shot last week, his name is Christopher Forey. Uh, he was shot twice, once in the neck, once in the hand. We know he had surgery last weekend and is expected to recover from those injuries. Reporting live tonight at Avondale, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Megan. Brad, thank you. If you have information about last weekend's shooting, you ask, are asked to call Crime Stoppers at 352-3040.